Hi everyone, I hope you are having a good Saturday morning. I have an errand to run this morning, um, but I'm just going to make a couple of observations about life that I've noticed. And anyway, I'm one of these early risers, right? So I'll wake up about 4 or 5 a.m. I might be a little bit groggy, but I'll be determined to get some things done, right? So it's still dark out at that time. So I woke up at like maybe 4 o'clock this morning and around 4.30 I was thinking, you know what, we haven't picked up in the, the mail in a few days, so why don't I just go outside and see what's there. I like to get go out and get my mail when it's kind of like a little dark out because it's private. There aren't a lot of people walking around and you know, I'm, I'm just one of these people, even though I'm like a YouTuber, I'm just not the most social person. I mean, I'm not a bad person, I'm just not very social. So I like to do things in private when I can. So anyway, I, um, I open the door to get ready to go outside. So we have like two doors, right? So I open the inner door and you know, I'm like doot, 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 you know, putting on my hat and shoes and stuff like that, you know, just oblivious and everything. And I hear this hissing noise. And I'm like, uh, you know what? That hissing sounds a little bit different, right? And, but then I like I look I like look to my side and I see my cats there. So I was like, oh, my cat must have hissed. So I was like, okay, so I start like getting ready to like take another step or two forward to, you know. To go outside, I almost opened that outer door and I hear this hiss and it's even louder and closer. I'm like, you know what? That's not my cat. I don't, I don't know who or what that is, but that's enough indication to me that I've got to come inside and close the door and wait until daybreak. Alright, so I don't, I don't really like go outside in the morning like that off. I rarely do that, but I just was like, it, I was just thinking of the mail, right? So, yeah, and it didn't sound like a cat hiss, right? And then, like, right before I close the door, I see, like, this shadow of something, like, running real fast, right? And I, and I was like, you know what? I don't know what that thing is, but I'm glad that I listened to my spidey senses and just, you know, I'm glad I just closed the door and came in. <laughs> so, I mean, I should have known, right, to not try to go out at that time of the morning because there's like nature is doing all kinds of things that we don't know about we're not supposed to know about we're meant to be indoors when we can now there's people that get up and go to go to work at that time of the morning but you know they, they know what they're doing right <laughs> there, there's this thing you don't hear the term anymore but i think they used to call it the witching hour and i think the witching hour is like when humans are, most people are asleep and there's things going on outside that are maybe like a little nefarious or stuff we're not supposed to know about. I think four o'clock in the morning might still be the witching hour. If you look up at, look up that term, you'll see maybe, um, maybe you'll see like uh, what that term really means. I might not have described it too well. So, okay, so that's, so that's one thing. And you know what it reminds me of? I have a hard time sometimes watching like dramas or the occasional horror movie I watch because in some of these dramas, some of the most ridiculous things happen, right? So let's say this woman's being pursued by this bad guy, like running after her and everything, and she manages to like knock him down, knock him out. He falls to the ground, right? And then the gun falls out of his hand, lands on the ground, and then she takes off and starts running. Instead of picking up the gun and taking it with her, because that's like probably going to be the only thing that's going to protect her, is there laying on the ground. And what happens? The bad guy almost always gets up again and uses the gun. So when that stuff happens in movies, I just, I turn it off. I, I get so frustrated, I can't even watch it anymore, right? <laughs> so anyway, and then the same thing like in horror movies. But horror movies are like even worse. Because you'll have like weirdos coming to the door or looking in your windows and people are like oh this must, this just must be the new neighbor you know so I, i'll just you know probably see him around and, and it'll be like some weird looking thing and he'll have like blood streaks on his face and he'll just be like staring and not very responsive it's like maybe that's a sign 
that you need to close your windows. That's another thing in these movies when you see people at night, right? Watch some of these movies, like these dramas or horror movies. People will have their windows open with like the curtains open at night. And it's like, why? That must be something done for effect. I'm like, these things are so frustrating, but anyway, I'm going on and on, but that kind of reminded me from like, um, from what happened this morning. And so anyway, the other thing I was going to talk about is my husband and I really want to get to a nice restaurant as soon as this vehicle is fixed. Let me tell you, I was, so sometimes we see these commercials for like restaurants on TV and they'll have these effects in the commercials that are like, you know, like really questionable. Like we saw this commercial for like a steakhouse where they have like steak and seafood and stuff. And you'll see like something like, all right, there'll be a piece of shrimp, right? A piece of shrimp like in the air. And it's like being thrown into like this little cup of butter. And this butter just like jumps up and like splatters everywhere. And it's like, you know, that's kind of dramatic. That's not really how it works in the restaurant, right? And then they'll have like this, this slice of lemon that they'll like squeeze in their fingers like a, a, on the commercial and the lemon just gets like spritzed everywhere. And so anyway, you're like all excited and, and happy and you go to, the, go to the restaurant and you sit down and then it's like you realize, hey man, there's no melted butter splattering across the walls. There's no lemon getting in anybody's eyes. And that's when people start drinking. That's, that's when the alcohol comes out because it's never excited, as exciting in the restaurant as it shows it in the commercials, okay? It's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> some stuff done for dramatic effect. I don't know why. When I see the commercial, it just, it makes me laugh. It's like, I mean, how much butter do you need for one piece of shrimp? <laughs> it's like being thrown into the cup. I mean, you, it's like, it's like, do you want some shrimp with your butter? You know? Anyway, guys, I don't know. I was just in one of these moods this morning, so... Um, so anyway, let, let me know in the comments. Sometimes I like to ask you guys a question. Do you ever, did you ever like try going out in the morning or at night and there's something creepy outside your house and you just kind of like, maybe something scared you or something happened or, you know, maybe you listen to your spidey senses. Uh, anyway, tell me about the experience below in the comments and, uh, yeah, that'll be interesting to read. I mean, I hope nothing's happening to you guys, okay? But anyway, sometimes we have these experiences. So I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, I got my errands to run, so. And it's still early, so. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys in the comments and have a good, wonderful weekend.